This lighting is <laughs> god awful. <laughs> I haven't filmed a vlog in a while. I don't really know why I'm doing it today, but I kind of, I just wanted to. I'm sitting in front of Target right now, working up my uh, courage to go inside. I haven't been inside of a store. I would say in a long time, but I did go to Target yesterday, but I went in really fast and came out. That's the plan today too. I'm not hanging out. Every time I go into a store, I feel like sit and take a moment <laughs> and like talk myself up. It's kind of busy. I don't understand why it's so busy. It's noon on a Wednesday. But since we're sitting here waiting, let me tell you about how my day has started. So fun. I was taking Coda out this morning. Lately, in the mornings, I usually just go through the dog run, let her work out her morning zoomies. But today, I open the door, and at the end of it, I see a dog. And so I was like, okay, there's a dog, but no person. Confused. But I figured maybe they're like me with Coda, and anytime we leave, I go and check the street to make sure that there's no person with a dog walking by because she still gets a little crazy. Kind of figured maybe that's what the person was doing. So I waited like 10 seconds and I opened the door to see again, and the dog was still there. And so I was like, did someone leave their dog <laughs> in the run? I don't know this dog. I was just like, okay, I guess we'll just go out this side door. But then I kept looking at the dog and I was like, I feel like I recognize this dog. And it hit me. I know exactly whose dog this was. There is this drunk man that lives in our building and he has this dog. It's very cute and it seems like it's well socialized. Whenever he's walking it, it's saying hi to people and other dogs. So it's, I wasn't concerned that it was aggressive or anything, but I knew it was this drunk man's dog and it solidified a story I previously had, which let me tell you on my birthday, we took Coda out for like the last time, whatever, to get out her last piece before bed at like 11 o'clock at night. And we're walking, it's like really dark. And coming from the parking lot building behind us, we see this guy walking towards the sidewalk that we're walking on. And he's just like yelling out. And we don't know what he's saying, but we didn't realize he was talking to us or we were just trying to sound like he wasn't talking to us. But he just kept saying, hey, that's my dog. And we're like, no it's not <laughs> thanks sir and he kept saying it over and over and so me and my mom just like quickly like walk back towards our building because we we're like nah <laughs> i don't know you and you're very clearly drunk because you're still holding a bottle and we're getting out of here so like speed walking back and he's just walking behind us still yelling like oh that's my dog and my mom's like no it's not so we get into the building and we're waiting for the elevator and for our building you have to have a key fob to get in and so we were kind of hoping he didn't live there. Turns out he did because he came walking in and we're like waiting for the elevator. And I'm like, I hope he doesn't need this elevator because I will let Coda go if I need to because she is pretty protective of, of us. And I have no doubt if that guy tried to do anything, Coda would have laid paws. <laughs> we're waiting at the elevator and the hallway's over here and he's standing at that hallway and he's like yeah and i live in here too my mom's trying to tell him like you can't just walk behind women at night he's like i don't care and like kept calling us a bitch <laughs> we're just like all right i gotta go and we get in the elevator and we just go to our house and i've seen him with the dog before so i knew he had a dog and he kept saying his dog looked like our dog looked like his which it really doesn't so but that day before we took coda out we were going to go in the dog run but there was a dog in there too and it didn't have an owner there was no person in there and so i was like this must be his dog and he must have gotten drunk brought his dog in there and forgot that he left his dog in there and my mom insisted she was like i don't think that was his dog i'm like no i'm pretty sure it was his dog because that was the other thing he kept yelling out too he's like well i can't find my dog and so i'm pretty sure he got drunk brought his dog in there forgot his dog was in there and then thought our dog was his dog i'm a hundred percent sure that that dog that we saw in there that night was also his dog and he forgot he had it in there but anyway back to this morning so i walk around the block or whatever and i'm coming back up and i see him so the dog run is here there's like a line of trees and then there's a parking lot and i see him at this car that's parked right at the gate i can see him whistling and talking through the gate which i didn't hear before so i think he had walked away and now he was back but he he was at this car and I was like aha I'm going around and I come up and I see him coming out and going towards the dog run again and this time he's holding like the corner store bag and there was clearly bottles in there I'm like sir it is 10 30 how are you how are you drunk already it's 10 30 and then there was another guy there that was also drunk and holding his corner store bag with alcohol in it and they're like yelling at each other I thought they were about to fight but then they started laughing I don't know drunk men things I don't know it was the weirdest instant and i was just like i just want to go inside like i just woke up and i know he goes out at 10 30 which is why i normally try to take coda out before that we have not slept well the last four days because it has been like this heat wave coming through and so and no one has air conditioning in washington we live on the top floor heat rises it was the most miserable hottest four days <laughs> um especially for sleeping so i think we all just kind of 
slept in last night. And I wish I didn't. I really wish I didn't. So that was my morning. It's only been two hours. I've only been up for two hours. I know I look a little busted. I have a hair mask in my hair right now that I was supposed to wash out this morning, um, but I got lazy. I don't feel like it because after I wash it out, I have to actually do my hair and that is not something I want to do right now. <sighs> Let's go. Sorry, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I gotta turn this on. I'm sorry. You're gonna hear the car. But that's just how it was gonna be. Let's do a little Target haul, shall we? I spent more money than I intended. I bought this planner. I feel like I keep buying planners and they don't do anything for me. But I didn't know how much this cost <laughs> until I scanned it. And it is $20. I don't even like this pattern. So since I spent $20, 2022 to 2023, this will be filled out. I didn't spend $20 for nothing. Uh, got some allergy pills. Why these are also so expensive, I don't know. Post COVID times, I don't really wanna be walking around coughing and sneezing. Cause when I see people coughing and sneezing, I. I have PTSD. I look at them funny and I'm not gonna lie. And I know people do that to me too. Oh, I got these because here's the thing. I'm, this is kind of embarrassing. I don't know why, but it kind of is. I'm trying to learn how to sing. Don't judge me, okay? Just bear with me. I'm the kind of person that I don't like not being good at things. I have to try and be good at it. And so I've been trying to teach myself to sing. I'm not giving you a preview now because I think when I sing by myself, I'm actually not awful, but it needs some work. The Queen, Ariana Grande uses, I can't remember what it's called, but these, um, and they're good for your throat, but they're like $30. Sis, I'm not going to the Grammys yet, yet. I wanna do, maybe I'll do a video on it, but I wanna try to do the rice water in your hair because I've heard it's really, really good, especially for curly hair. But I wanna do that and I got some black castor oil and then I got a little bit of tea tree oil and jojoba oil. And I kinda wanna mix all of them together and make like a, a mask on steroids for my hair because she's making me mad. Like I honestly, I'm on the verge of cutting her off. Cut it, she's getting cut off. So most of that stuff I got was actually a necessity Oh my god, <laughs> pull it right next to me. I wanted to say most of the stuff I got was a need, but I don't think anything I got was a need. Ah! Two things that I got that I definitely didn't need was I saw this shirt. I thought it was so cute. It's a Selena shirt. I got it from the men's. I got an extra large because I like it oversized, but that's so cute. I went through this phase where I just really liked Hawaiian shirts. <laughs> like, for no reason. I just wanted a Hawaiian shirt. And I kind of stopped wearing them. I still have all of the ones that I had. But I, I saw one in the store yesterday that I got that I'll show you. Seeing these two shirts really lit the Hawaiian shirt love in me again. I don't usually wear bright colors. I don't like being the center of attention. So I don't like people looking at me. So why I got this shirt, I don't know, but I just knew I fell in love with it. It's kind of ugly, but I, that's, I think that's kind of why I like it. Um, and then I can't go to any store without being a proper mother and getting Coda, my dog, some things. I saw these cookies and I thought they were so cute. They look like little chocolate chip cookies. Obviously they're not chocolate chips and she better eat them. The only other treat that they had was like, they look like Oreos, but they were like peanut butter flavor and she's the only dog I know that doesn't like peanut butter. Like she snubs her nose at it. I also got her this, cause I wanted to get her a new toy. This says Duraforce, but there has only been one toy brand at PetSmart. I don't remember what it's called, but I'll put it here. That she can't destroy immediately. Well, I guess she'll have for her 15 minutes of fun. That costs $15. A dollar a minute. If anything, she'll be happy for a second, I guess. There's a person walking behind me. I'm just staring at my car. Hi, sir. 
I need to go home now. <laughs> I would take you with me while I drive, but um, I like listening to music and YouTube doesn't like when you listen to music. Bye. <laughs> Before I give you the toy, try these first, if you like them. It literally just looks like a chocolate chip cookie. Before you run off with your toy, do you want this? Oh, it's good. Girl, just take it. There you go. Haven't been home for 30 minutes, but it's like, it's the face. <laughs> crazy. Oh, look at that. I fell going up the stairs. That takes special skill to do that. And I got rug burn and now it's scarred. I look like I got bit by a vampire. You better hold on tight, spider monkey. I just finished eating lunch, took Coda out, but now I need to use this. I think I'm gonna fill this out and it's almost July. So it's like the perfect time to fill out for next month. So it's all prepared and ready. Because like I said, I spent $20 on this. Every page will be filled out. I think I'm gonna go out on the deck and do it in public. I got my iPad so I can put my some of my school schedule stuff on there. I thought about bringing my laptop, but I just switched from using my MacBook Air to MacBook Pro and I'm still getting used to it because it's definitely bigger and it just feels like a lot. For some reason, it feels embarrassing. It's giving me the same feeling of bringing an umbrella to school or like when you had a poster board that you had to bring to school, but like everyone had it because everyone's was due on the same day. But for some reason, carrying around that trifold poster, embarrassing. But you're not embarrassed. I'm 100% stalling because I don't want to go out there. If there's someone out there, I'm not going out there. I will be coming <laughs> right back inside. My window is right near the deck, so I can see like half of the deck and there's no one there. But the other half is, is really a surprise. There's no one here. Oh, my hair is just looking crazier and crazier. I need to actually do it. I don't know why I was worried about people and there might be people out here because it just fully looks like it's about to rain. So um, it feels really good out though. I made myself a cute little coffee. Yeah, no, I'm trying to enjoy how nice it is because the last four days have just been <laughs> hair is like a million pounds. I want to put my headphones on, but I also don't want to be like taken off guard when someone comes up. It looked like it was about to rain because I think it is about to rain. It's like misting right now, very lightly. So I don't know if that means I should go inside or if I'm okay. Like, is it gonna stop? Well, so much for that. <laughs> Ow, <laughs> uh. <laughs> As the day goes on, I look rougher and rougher. It took a little bit longer to fill out that, that planner than I was expecting, but I did it. I made dinner. I didn't record any of it because it was not impressive. I had a bagel and some nuggets. If you want to know how I'm doing on the adulting train, there's your answer. <laughs> I'm about to start my period next week and that's what I was craving weirdly enough was a bagel and some nuggets. <laughs>
but that's really kind of it for my day like i'm done i mean the day is done too it's 9 30 the sun is setting i think the only thing i'm gonna do for the rest of the night is put my clothes away um because there's a lot Ooh, that's it that's all you see <laughs> that's embarrassing i did have to close my window though because it was getting a, it was getting a bit frosty i also had to close my window though because someone got wind chimes um which is cute on like a little country house in the woods less cute when they're not your wind chimes and you hear them all day Yeah, like I said, that's it for the day. I'm really just gonna put those away. Probably make the rice water. Watch too much Netflix, stay up too late and go to bed. I like to end my note. End my note? Not my notes. I try to end my days on a good note. That's how that goes. So today I did finally get my package. It was delayed like a week. I ordered some stuff from Victoria's Secret. I ordered some stuff from Pink because they were having a sale. They always have great underwear sales. I'm not going to show you that. We aren't that close and some things should stay a secret. I can confirm that the underwear I ordered, I got, I got a new bra, <laughs> which I also feel weird showing on the internet, but I got one. It's cute or whatever. Sweatpants. <laughs> um, I have really developed a problem because of COVID. I just bought sweatpants and hoodies, a lot of hoodies, because that has just been, I can't even say a staple of my wardrobe because it's just my wardrobe. But I did get these, they're like a coffee, I think that's what it's called, coffee brown or something like that, coffee color. Just like brown sweatpants. Would have been great to wear today because it's freezing outside. Not complaining, super thankful. But I just, I don't like wearing clothes that I just bought without washing them first. I used to work in retail, so I know that things get returned. They don't get washed. They just get put back on the floor. I've seen some things. Just telling you now, always wash the things before you wear them. As much as I want to wear these tonight, I don't think I can. That's, I think that's about it. We're done today. Mm hmm So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know, do all the things, subscribe, like, share, whatever you want. <laughs> I totally just blanked. My mind went silent. I'll see you in the next video, which will be soon. I know I'm not consistent. I know, you don't have to tell me. I know I'm not. I shame myself for it every day. <laughs> but I will be consistent. One of these days, I will post consistently. Here's the thing, I actually film a lot. I just end up psyching myself out in the either in the middle of editing or before I edit, so then the video never sees the light of day. I feel like I just need to post it. Whether it's good or not, I just need to post it. Just so I can get into the routine. I don't know. Whatever. I'll see you in the next video. I hope you have a good rest of your day or week. Bye. <laughs>